Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of 4 Modern Day Mod as Transinistra. So last time, I'm sorry about Cliffhanger, but that was a perfect opportunity right after that 30 minute mark. And let's see how this goes right now. Um, I think the only way for me to really win this is to somehow surround large parts of the AI. Maybe break it in some way. I don't know, I have to confuse the AI. The AI likes battle plans, so we have to make sure that it doesn't have a good battle plan against me. Anyway, let's clear this war and see what you're doing. You you will probably be the one attacking me, so... God, we're losing... Oh, God, we're losing in so many places. We're not losing right here, because I need to break them somehow. Wait, wait, wait. You stopped attacking? Wait, what? Really? I won that. <gasps> My armor is too strong. Wait, wait, wh why are you pulling back? Okay, Ukraine, what the hell are you doing? I have no clue what you're doing right now. Okay, something is seriously wrong. Uh, Ukraine. I don't know what to do. Because this is seriously wrong. Like, 100% wrong. This is seriously broken as hell. I should not be... You should not have just retreated completely from this. Come on, I just talked about I need to break it somehow, not you just break by yourself. How much equipment do we have? Yeah, we, we're, we're losing equipment very fast, but if I don't have to fight them, then this is going to be no problem. You're going around with, well, one kilometer right now, but come on. As soon as you get over that river, that should be a bit faster. Yeah, 12. That's much better. We have that extra research slot, so we're going to continue just... Oh, actually, we already have that last one right there. Uh, we have this way ahead of time. Knight, yeah, you knight thingy, please. Get that. And you can just continue this way, I guess. We need to reduce the front as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Okay, um, I'm no longer going to push generally. I'm just going to defend. Okay, Ukraine, why you retreated right there is beyond me. Uh, I, after this episode, I'm just going to retry that beginning once again and see what happens. Like, I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to say thank you guys for joining for this episode. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And then I'm going to redo the entire thing. I'm actually going to have this recording on. But I'm just going to do it very quickly just to see how you react that second time. Here, you attacked me. And then you just fell back the entire way. Something must have happened this episode. Which I'm going to be very, very, very thankful for. But this is making this conquest easy instead of being a pain. So I'm just going to say thank you for that one opportunity but that made my awesome cliffhanger feel like a slap in the face <laughs> when they do something like this instead of becoming an epic struggle of province per province it becomes a cakewalk and why are you not attacking me every single province I know you want battle plans AI I know you want battle plans and I know you don't want to attack a superior enemy without battle plans so that's why you're not attacking me, but come on. You should not have fall fallen back that early. Attacking up here is stupid because, well, you have a river right here, but I need to break this now. Oh, wait, you can attack right here. Attack from the north. So much quicker you fell now when I didn't have a river that penalized me. Thank you. So you are going to go south right here. Actually, you can... See if you can go south this entire way. And then clean up that entire thing. That'd be pretty awesome. While you go in right here. I take this city. We take this city. Oh, I lost a division. I lost a division somewhere. Someone must have died completely. Uh, no, don't attack right here. Don't attack. attack right there instead. And you can actually continue right here. Uh, I think... Yeah, I lost one of my motor... No, no. I lost one of my tanks, actually. Wow. God, that was bad. Now all of you are surrounded. Please finish this off now. Let's just cakewalk. Food. Good. Then I'm going to win this, definitely. So, yeah. My, st <laughs> my three-step program is working perfectly right now. It's working much better than it should have. Because of whatever the AI did in the beginning right there. 
Oh, damn it. I'm, I'm somehow really happy, but still at the same time extremely disappointed. This was going to be my epic moment of struggling, defending, pulling one division left, right, doing some kind of weird strategy that was going to work. <laughs> this just became a steamrolling party. Uh, let's move in. Let's grab everything. I still have a save left, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use it and see what the hell happened. Let's clean up this. And we have basically taken half of Ukraine. Um, that should have given us more... Oh wait, you don't actually have that many factories right there. You just have, well, some manpower that I'm gonna use. That's five divisions. Gone. Thank you. Then please roll together right here. Go in right here. Take Kiev. And then surround that division. Olympics, yeah, who cares about Olympics? We are taking over everything. Uh, you, please go up right here. That's surrounding a couple more divisions. Uh, if you attack right here and help this division, pull back. Defend it, very good. Come on. Good, you're moving in right here. Now that means you are surrounded. That means you should just move in and bring this down. Uh, we still are good with equipment, which we most certainly shouldn't be. Let's add one more factory on all three of these. And you are gone, very good. I think it's time for you to be disbanded, just for the extra equipment. Ex extra equipment and supply. You move up right here for the north. Not important. Actually, how did it go for you? Uh, you were beaten back completely, or something. Oh, you must have been, yeah. Probably the division I put right here was, got in here, then got surrounded by something, and then crushed. But it seems like this time we're doing fine. And we have some random... Oh, right. Russia have military access right there. Yeah. <laughs> Russia military access right there. So I guess they just want to see what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, let's see. How much more do I need to take for you to grab? Oh, God. That's a lot of territory. This would have been a super hard battle if, well, you hadn't given up that easily. Uh, let's see. Move in. Let's do it like this. You go up right here. Come on, cut that unit off. Apparently you're not moving a single province, but you managed to get in and bring that entire thing down. Eat everything, thank you. And there we go, the last province there too. Excellent, how many divisions do you have left? 17. Alright, then I guess you will just go up right here and make another push like that. Come on, help that division, please. Thank you. We're getting a ton of manpower now with, a, with still only being on extensive conscription, though that's really, really good. And uh, we have 400 blue power, which I've completely neglected now because I've been so excited about this. Uh, resources. Ukraine, you have a ton of resources. Hello and welcome, closed economy. Uh, very nice. Th that's going to be so useful for us. Uh, you four tanks, you can just move down right here now. Well, actually, not yet, but now. Now it's completely different. Being almost surrounded and surrounded is completely different area because now you're starting getting penalties because you don't have enough supply. Well, within days you're getting that those penalties, and we're just slaughtering them. Actually, how are our attacks? Uh, well, you have a bunch of negative stuff right now, but generally I think they should be pretty good if you have full everything full. Okay, let's grab one of these. You have pretty much everything. Please attack here on an even terrain against other enemy. 300, yeah, this is what I knew. My divisions are about twice as good and you are not piercing my armor. So, I think I could have won this anyway, even if the AI wouldn't have been so weird, but yeah, we're gonna double check it later. Trust me, I'm gonna double check this. I'm gonna triple check it. I'm gonna retry to do this four or five times because this was weird. I've never seen the AI done something so stupid. Uh, let's see, infrastructure... Yeah, sure! Oh, actually, first let's grab that one, but then infrastructure. Because that will help build up this entire infrastructure everywhere, I think. Uh, let's see, engineering... Nope, 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 nope. Uh, artillery, no, that's not gonna be useful. Better mechanized, that is gonna be useful. And now, just go in, clean this up, please. And this is now taken by Georgia. Oh, right. We had war with Georgia. Right. <laughs> no. This is my land. Don't try to retake it or anything. Oh, wait. Are you allied with... Are you allied with anyone? No, you're not allied. It's just Georgia being here. Oh, crap. That's actually a very, ba very good division. 
Uh, let's see. Go in right here. Ah, pause. Let's see. Yeah, I can't break that without any... Like, I, I can't break that very easily, at least. I'm gonna need some more units for that. Uh, if you could just go in and grab the two lost province... Uh, two lost, well, cities. Come on, just grab that one and we're over. This war will be gone. There we go. Ukraine is mine. I want everything. Okay, we need to pass a couple times. There we go. Ukraine is mine. And turn and done. Hello and welcome, big trans <laughs> Transnistrian Republic. God, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. So all you need is some time and, uh, well, a very, very weird AI. I need to double... I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Let's stop mentioning it. Let's just accept what happened as a very, very, very happy... Get over there. Now. Now. Quickly. Don't you dare move. Don't you dare move. Don't you dare move. Oh, that could have ended so badly. If they would have gone in and take my capital, I would have been dead. So, because of that, I'm gonna accept that sometimes this happens and just be very happy that it did. Because that gave, well, what could have been a hellish war to fight. Gave a pretty nice conclusion and a pretty easy war instead. So, what are we missing? Are we actually in need of trading anything? No, we don't need steel, we don't need to trade for oil. And we don't need chromium. Actually, yes, we do need. So, let's just build some instead. And uh, these forts are completely useless. Oh, crap, I deleted the uh, military factory too. Uh, let's see, chromium, chromium, chromium. I want it to be built right there, right there. Because right now, since we have so much extra room, actually, we should still build... Wait, how much cheaper are you? Wait, with, with the excavation bonuses, I am getting 20%. We're getting, well, how much are we actually getting extracted? We get one more for every one. With more bonuses, you would eventually get over 8. And since I have extra room now for this and however much more I ever need, I think it's fine for me to build this, since you are actually more expensive. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, you are now just only gonna hold these ports and cities. Actually, you're only gonna hold ports. Because right now, we are holding a city up here and a city right there. No real, like, super dangerous ports. It's better that you hold this one. No, 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 we're gonna defend that. Actually, you're not supposed to hold this. Oh, we had airplanes and something else guarded. So yeah, hold cities too. Uh, we need to cover that area. Please, thank you. Crack down writers and no. Uh, let's see, maybe we should change this law now. Are we... How good are we right here? Oh, it's still 0%. Yeah, right, we need better um, stability first before we can switch that one. Let's see, what should we research? What should we research? Um, I think it's time for... Let's see, naval stuff. I want a better one right there. And let's see, I want better ships too, please. Because you are now going to start producing my missile cruisers. We have a ton of convoys, which is nice. Most likely thanks to Ukraine, but yeah. Uh, we have one more military factory that could be placed out somewhere. And let's see, where do I want it? I think I want it at um, tanks. Uh, you should also get a couple more, but we're going to switch you around now. Yeah, this is better. Uh, we're going to get a new one in another 30 days. Good. And in the meantime, let's actually trade for it. Let's trade right there. It doesn't actually harm me. We have enough civilian for what we need for now. Um, yeah, more tanks are coming. Very good. Demographic studies. Thank you. Uh, right, we can't go this one because we are parties not communists. So we can only do this one. Most population minus, but we gained 35% more factory output, which is... Give me that. Give me that now. Already give me it. Like, I should have had it already. That one. That much. I wanted that much. Uh, better fighters, please. Uh, let's see. What more can we do? What more can we do? Montenegro gains independence. Congrats, Montenegro. Uh, let's see. Are you still... Stability change. Ooh! Celebrate good times. Come on. Da -da -da -dun 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 -dun. Woohoo. This is awesome. Very good stability. So, that's now... Update. 7% minus consumer goods and a bunch of other things. Very nice. 47,000 manpower extra. Uh, so I'm just going to produce these very bad tank divisions until we have about 24 of them. 
just a nice stable base. God, Transnistrian Republic, you look so much better when you're this big. So, Georgia, I have to somehow get in there and defeat you. But for that, I need at least a ship. You right now have three, probably destroyers, that's why I'm building one missile cruiser and hoping that that will be enough to bring you down. Having three right here, that might be a bit too much, so let's restrict it. We're gonna get this one, one in three years, and that's not good enough. So what we're gonna do is build three factories right there after you repaired most of this. Uh, actually, infrastructure can be just downgraded to after all the reparations, the same with the airbase. But these ones are a bit more important to get fixed. Actually, you should be fixed ASAP. Yeah, this should have been fixed as soon as possible, really. Because that will just add one more straight... Wait, like, it will just add one more civilian factory right away. It's super good. Because, well, no consumer goods, which means one equals one. No restriction anywhere. There you go. Oh, wait, that was research, not fo focus. Um, yeah, you're getting this. Let's get fleet in being one more. Thank you. Uh, modify government. Yes, I want this. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we can actually get Russian designer. Naval research I minus 20%. Sure, sure, why not? Minus 20%, that's pretty good. Actually, pr minus 20%, that's really, really good, to be honest. Uh, let's see, so we want more stuff right here. Uh, where are my dear military builder? War industrialist, hello and welcome to the army. Or to the cabinet, more like it. Let's see, you're getting up here, very good. You're trying with naval invasions, but I'm holding at every single direction, just beating you back all the time. We're soon coming from you. 11 military factories, that's what I want to see. You're most likely going down this... Yeah, because of our decryption and encryption stuff, we can just see everything you have done. That's brilliant. You have even... Yeah, you got all the civilian one, then you started converting as much as possible to military. <sighs> Give me that. Give me those 11. Ah, we can actually start... Even if we don't have any, we can start doing... Yeah. Yes, I know. This is going to make this possible. Actually, I should select you too and then do this. Yeah, I know. There we go. You're trying to get in right there, please. And I want one division to try and just bother that one. But you're still staying right there, so it's not going to be any different. We're still guarding every single port. Except you won't... No, yeah. Um, should we switch this out? How much are we going to throw away? 70 days of production. It's still quite a bit. I'm going to reform our prison system. I'm actually going to keep it. No, no, no. I do not want to do that. I want to have you as, as soon as we're done with that first one, we're going to go for the second one. Amphibious assault ship. What's the difference between you? I don't know. Are you better? No. Sub detection. Shore bombardment. Ah, there we go. That's the thing. Oh, we can get level 3 missile cruiser. Let's do it then. Uh, let's ignore level 2 then. Yeah, let's ignore the level 2. Let's see. We have 11 chromium up and ready. Let's change you. Thank you. And very slowly we're getting that. Let's fix that. How much are we trading for, actually? Import 8. Yeah, then that's completely fine. Let's ignore you, then. And just focus on getting these naval ports up and running now. We need them. Fast more than we need anything else right now. Don't we have any naval focus? Yes, we do. That's another... No. F dockyards. There's three dockyards. Let's give me them, please. Oh, crap. I forgot to do something right now, I think. Something right here. Birth control program. Consumer goods minus 8%. That's what we forgot. Or oh, what I forgot. I shouldn't blame this on you, since you still haven't seen any one of these episodes. Uh, let's see. Research slot available. Uh, let's see. What would it be do? What should be? Um, you can you can probably hear that I'm kind of excited right now that everything went so well, even though the weird thing. But just accept it. Just accept it. Sometimes you have these games. Sometimes you need this one in a million games, where the AI is completely. I don't know. Some value gets over some value, and it's just what the hell does whatever. Like you need one of these games if you want to beat the Einstein mod. 
You need one of these events to happen. Something in the calculations goes completely wrong and they just runs away. But yeah, that's what you need to to survive the Einstein mod. Einstein mod. Einstein. Einstein. Einstein mod. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Second to last episode to record for me before I can finally go to sleep and then go wake up. Well, not wake up, but same time tomorrow I'm in Germany. Let's see. Intelligence encryption. No, I want the decryption guy. Decryption guy. Decryption guy. Uh, let's see. I don't actually find you. Have we already picked you? Yeah, we have. Okay. Then let's grab the encryption guy. Right there. Thank you. 42% uh, achievement. I actually kind of want to stay there right now. Okay, let's go down now to moderate taxes. Because with the last one right here, birth control program, we can have more than enough consuming goods reduction. Even so much, we can probably go down to... Well, yeah. Uh, heavily regulated, probably. Maybe even lightly regulated, so we can get some growth, like 100 men every month. That's something, at least. That's... 52 months and we can have one or 39 months and we can have one armored brigade let's see how we're doing with equipment right now you are kind of fine with tanks but four lines are probably all you can handle right now industrial ro robotics thank you wasn't you the one i took super ahead of time yeah i think it was nice so you're finally done uh support equipment let's see yeah we can go right here let's do it then how are how is everyone right now? You're all trained or one is even regular. Very good. Let's see, yeah, we lack I know we lack it. I just need I just need a single ship. You're getting one in one point seventy seven seventy one in sixty seven years. Sure, negative birth rate right now. Actually, that's going to reduce the current one we have even more. So even changing this law might be useless. But we still want to... I still want to stay kind of safe. Maybe even that I will go to low taxes. So I can start getting my natural unit up again. Because right now, we have more land than just this single province. Keeping more of it will be pretty nice. So we don't die instantaneously if they manage to grab something in the outskirts. Right, that might actually not work. I think they actually need to take our core territory, so it might just be bullshit. Just in case. It's better to be safe than sorry when you do campaigns like this. Much better to be safe than sorry. So how about this? When are you coming to me? My dear, dear first chip. Uh, we have three factories, we have another six, four to go. I'm starting to see wrong numbers, okay. You are gonna join up right here. We're gonna add, let's see, two right there, two right there. Because you're gonna leave me. Actually, we can even do like this. Let's add one more right there. So it's equal. Uh, Mr. Cruise level 3, can we go for 4? No, we can't. Then let's go for... I don't know. Alright, oh, support equipment. That was the thing I was gonna look at. And maybe we should add logistics now to you, my dear friends. My dear tanky friends, you're fine with that, I'm fine with it, you're fine with this, we're fine with this. Thank you. Let's see. I think we're gonna need to add... No, actually, we're fine. I was gonna say one more so we have two and everything, but we already did that. Cool. Uh, let's continue down right here, I think. Just fix it. Make it better and better. And you, let's go down to high taxes. Still, we are perfectly 0% right now, because that was what we got from getting very high stability. I think the next one is amazing stability. But yeah, we're not going to get that. But those minus 8% is going to be all the thing we need. Research minus 6%, and how much are we losing from very high? 7% 7, 7, 7 to plus 1%, so 2% research speed. Or actually... Minus, we are plus, so minus 11% research speed because we're gonna go for low taxes and you should start having this tick up instead. But we're gonna be fine with consume good, which is the important part. Another 10 days plus minus for all researches, I'm fine with that. There we go. 
So let's get one more even because we have we can do it. One, uh, yeah, we need to get this. We need to get this out. Have well, have the ship spawn right there, please. Yeah, we just have to wait right now. Actually, how many men does every sh every big big ship take? 400 holy crap that's actually quite a bit so we're probably gonna stay something at five ships or something we're not gonna need it very much for more than well this single area uh you're fine here right now yeah then i think i want to go down either this path right now path not pass did it a diff path either this path or this path just get the dockyards Let's get the dockyards. We have manpower enough for what we our current needs. We just don't have to well go all for it. So remember, um, since this is actually pretty good to bring up right now. So if I would attack Armenia, oh no, if I would attack who? Oh yeah, if I would attack Azerbaijan, Turkey gets called in. Wait, does that mean the entirety of NATO gets called in? Wait, how does those guarantee works? I think actually the entirety of NATO gets called in. Okay, then we can't just go in and take Azerbaijan, which would damn it, that would protect them. That would protect the different stance. So I need to paratroop from here to you, Turkmenistan, and then take it. Ask for military access through Islamic Republic of Iran so I can get my tanks here. So I can invade Uzbekistan and the other stans right here. Damn it. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. We'll see. I, I, will, I will. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, I just wanna enjoy what we currently have. Uh, we're missing one chromium, which I notices, notice because, well. We're gonna need that for our ships. Uh, let's see. We should just trade for one more right now. 16. Because, well, these factories are pretty soon done, which means more are gonna be added, which means we're gonna need more chromium very, very soon, so why not just trade for it right now? Oh, crap, that scared me. Ah. Oh. Just <laughs> about the flight tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Let's fix that. I'm gonna answer him quite soon because the episode is quite soon done. Uh, God, that's <laughs> just a Facebook pop-up message scaring me because I'm so intense right now. <laughs> Holy crap! Hashtag Facebook scare. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. You are getting up right here. A couple more factories, just a couple, or a couple more factories, a couple more tanks before we're done right here. Uh, let's see, you're gathering up. We will probably not naval invade here, right now. It's gonna take too long, and I think I actually will end it right now because, well, I wanna sleep right now. But like I promise you, I'm gonna just jump back right now and see exactly what the hell happened before. God, it was a very nice episode, so let's pretend I end this episode right now with some extra material. So thank you guys for watching this episode, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And now the extra material. Uh, let's save one more time. I always save double, or I already have saved double. Okay, let's save triple then. Just a bunch of random numbers. And now, load game, we're gonna go back to 2005 and see what the hell happened right here. Why did Ukraine go bonkers? Did I have those one in a 1000 game or... Well... Does this usually happen? Declare this war... Pause and... We're get... You're moving out. Okay, we're gonna use this. Vov, just to see. What the hell are you doing? You're not regarding me as a good enough threat and you're somehow moving out that makes no sense um, whatever kind of modifications they have done to well the calculation of dangerous enemies they should probably redo it again to the standard one
because this I know I know rush is much more frightening but I'm at war with you this should really change and bye